IBRCN2, thank you for 220 Canadian. What VTX table can I use for the JHEMCU VTX20-600? Okay, so there's a couple ways to try to approach this question. The first one, and this one's, I think this one's not going to work, but it's the. it should always be your first try, is in Betaflight, go to the Presets tab. Uh, let's make sure we're on the official Presets repo, which we are. And then we're going to go to VTX Presets, and I'm going to search for JGMCU. I think that's what it was. Was it JGMCU? Yes, VTX 2600. Okay, that didn't work, but that's what you should do first because if there's a chance that there's a, uh, a preset for it, that's super helpful. Next up, we're going to search for we're going to search for Okay, stop that. We don't want to do that right now. JGMCU 600 milliwatt VTX. It's the 2600. Is it 25600? Hang on. VTX 2600. Okay. Let's just look for the 2600 VTX. VTX 2600. Okay. Okay, this is a, a Amazon page. That's not going to be that useful probably. We really want to find a actual manufacturer page speedy fpv aliexpress could be helpful banggood could be helpful uh let's just start looking okay so we've got 20 what is it that's weird and what we're going to look for is we're going to look and see if anyone has published a vtx table that ah, bingo okay so at the very least we could go and we could manually type this stuff in. And actually, the, the channels and bands, you do not need to type in. So let's save this page. Let's just see if there's a VTX table anywhere on this page. I suspect there isn't, but you never know. Okay, but this page is going to be our fallback at the very least. Uh, here's Banggood. Do we have a VTX table published? Doesn't look like we do. Sometimes it's in the comments. I can tell you it's Tramp. Is that helpful? Uh, it will be, yes. Okay. Um, I'd love to just have a VTX table someone gives me, but it doesn't seem like I'm going to get that. So the best we've got is this photo. So we're going to go off that. Uh, where does it say that it's Tramp? I believe you, Blunty. Does it say that somewhere where they could demonstrate? Uh on the speedy fpv one the page oh oh, oh, oh look you. what i found look what i found for vtx json table please check this is an image so that's not that helpful but here is in fact a vtx table i found it um so i'm gonna i'm gonna just do it the 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 lame way though so there's a link we did find it that's how i'd go about this what i'm gonna do is uh where did you see tramp blunty tell me again uh, the speedy FPV link it was one of the links you showed there. Thank you. So what, the first thing you got to figure out is whether the video yeah. transmitter is using Tramp protocol or smart audio. We can see here it says control protocol is IRC Tramp. Great. So here in Betaflight, we're going to go to the ports tab. And for whichever UART the VTX is connected to, we're going to set the peripheral to IRC Tramp. Uh, you can't see that because it's under my head. Let me do let me do uh, this UART, which will be easier for you to see. No, still under my head. There we go. IRC Tramp. Okay, that's got to be correct. Either Tramp or Smart Audio. And then in the video, in, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the presets page and we're going to load the Tramp VTX preset. Tramp Nano and HV. And this is not going to be exactly right, but it's going to get us close. We're going to pick that and save and reboot. And then we're going to go to the video transmitter page. And you can see that now we have got all of our channels are loaded. The only thing that needs to change for most VTX tables 
is the power values, okay? The power labels are, that's just text. That could be anything. Okay, that's literally just text and could be anything. It just controls what you see in the OSD when it represents to you what power level it's at. But with a Tramp video transmitter and a, and a Smart Audio too, these power values are what is communicated to the VTX to tell it what power you want, and that needs to be what is expected. So let's look. And what we see here is they should go 25, 100, 200, 400, 600, and the label is 25, 100, 200, 400, 600. So actually that is the default values and we're good to go. Literally, it's just it's just the default values. 25, 100, 200, 400, 600. There is a confusing thing that happens with Tramp VTXs sometimes. Like there's a VTX out there where the max output power is one watt and but Tramp always expects the value to be 25, 100, 200, 400, 600. Um, and so there's a confusing thing that happens with some Tramp VTXs where the, the value is 600, but the label is one watt. And the VTX interprets 600 as one watt. In this case, I don't think that's what's going on. Uh, so that is the VTX table which we just get from that picture. And it turns out it matches the default Tramp VTX table, which you can load from the presets. Hope that was helpful. Uh